this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. Been in the business for about 30 years. And what I like to do on this channel is share tree climbing techniques and tree care information to beginners and experts. Today what I wanted to do is talk about the SRS system, also known as the SRT system. All right, let's get to it. So this is a rope wrench. Now this was created um, for the need to not have to isolate your line. So with a MRS system or DDRT um, or conventional tie-in, what you do is you have a, a rope that goes over a branch and there's always gonna be friction. So um, the creator of this rope wrench was Kevin Bingham. He found he was working on trees where it was real difficult to isolate his line. So he came up with this method so he could throw into a tree and work on a stationary line. So when he went up a tree, he doesn't have to worry about friction and he could go over multiple branches and ascend. Now what it has is a, a press it cord, um, any type of pulley, it could be, I like the hitch climber pulley or just a micro pulley and a carabiner. And this tether and the rope wrench. What this does is creates enough slack in the line so this friction hitch will work when you want to use it. So this was the very beginning one. Uh, there was actually a different model. This is a, a couple generations later. And also there was another one called a hitch hiker. Now, it's same, the hitchhiker had the same kind of situation where you use um, a stationary line. At the, in the past, they had called it a single rope technique, but there was a flaw to that because a double rope also is a single rope. It's just double over a branch. So then they started changing the, the words to make, make it more of what it does, a stationary rope system, because the only thing that moves is your climbing system. And what's really even better and what's great about that is there's also things you can do in the tree or multiple redirects when you're climbing. Now that the system was all set up and you have yourself put on a stationary system, the thing about it is that on an MRS system, when you pull yourself up, it's half your weight. But on this, it's your whole body weight, which would mean you have to figure out how you're going to get yourself up. Now, if you were um, a lean guy and could footlock, you could definitely just um, connect it to your saddle, footlock, and this would go up every time you footlock. But what they started to use are ascenders. Like here, this is a foot ascender. It's a locking one. Now, with a foot ascender, you strap it to your foot. You connect this to your belt. Um, also, um, you could use a chesty or maybe a neck leash with a clip. Some people would even use a lanyard to connect to your system. Now, every time you put your, you know, your step up with your foot, it would move your, um, your body weight up. So the way it works is every time it moves, cam opens a little, the teeth bite the rope and you step up, which, um, now you have to talk about the different types of rope on just regular lines. You can mess them up with ascenders because of the teeth. So now there's Kern Mantle and some other coats that are uh, that you can usually use ascenders with. You had your foot ascender, so you really it helps you get up the tree. Now it was a sit stand method. It's a little bit slower, but your full body weight. And every time you take a step, it's the full length. It's not half. If you were doing MRS, every time you pull, it's half your distance. But with this, you get your full um, distance. After they started using foot ascenders, then they started making these knee ascenders. Now this is a Haas. There's also another one called a, 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 a Saka. And um, there's a lot of people who made some out of say like a chest harness and with bungee that went over their shoulders. Now with these, you would put on your opposite foot. They lock out. You strap one to your other foot. And then this bungee on every step you take, it pulls your ascender up. 
So same kind of thing. Every time you take a step, you'd have one foot ascender in and a knee. You just walk up the line, just just like you were walking up a ladder. That really made it huge in the way to to um, enter a tree, save your body, and it can be really a, a great um, you know, arm saver, I would say. Here we have an example of a, a base anchor. So this is one of the basic ones, and and what we have is a quickie with a alpine butterfly, and then here's the line that you're going to climb on. So you don't actually need to have a quickie. There's also another thing called a quick link. Um, you'd want one that's rated if you're going to use it as a base tie. Or you could just have a loop knot and have your line feed through it. But you want a loop knot that won't run on you. So maybe um, it could be an alpine butterfly and you feed your rope through it. And then that's a simple basic base tie. But there's a lot of different types. There's one called an ART snake. And also you could create your own with a ring and having uh, press it cords to make it tight on the base. However you do it, it, it's a big help. So what was good about this, having a base tie, now you don't have to isolate your line, but then you go up to the tree here. When you get to that tie end point, the first one, if you were just over one limb, the thing about having a base tie is it actually makes your weight double. So if you're 100 pounds, the weight at that tie end point will be 200 pounds. So that's something that you really have to pay attention to. But the great thing about a base tie is you'll be able to go over multiple branches. You don't have to isolate your line. You set up your system and then you climb up and you start working into the tree. Now here's a, an example of a simple canopy tie. You have an alpine butterfly and you have your line in here. This is where your um, system will be connected. So you pull this up and you connect. Now the thing about this is now it's your regular body weight. So if you're hundred pounds, that's what you get at that tie in point. It doesn't double your weight. Now you can also do different types of modifications. If you had a quickie, you can connect the quickie to this, to your butterfly. Also there's multiple different ways of attaching canopy ties. A lot of people will use friction savers and different types of uh, components to do that. Anyhow, this is an example of a canopy tie. One of the things I hear with an SRS system is that it's really difficult to get it, install your line because you have to throw a ball to the top of the tree, but you don't really have to. You can start really low if you want, um, if you have something like a, a quickie. So um, to do it, what you would do is you just throw your you could, you could use a terminal end, but I'm going to have a little bit of gap so I can retrieve it right now. But you would throw your line over a branch and say this is a tall tree. Now you're going to get your quickie, or, or it could be a quick link. Now if you're using a quickie, what you want to do is make sure that the slick pin is against the trunk. You capture your line, okay? You snug it up. You would be connected to this line here. You set yourself up, you climb up to this point, you put the lanyard on. Now you're lanyard into the tree. It's better if you could be standing on something. Now once you're lanyard in, you disconnect your quickie. Disconnect it, lock it back in so you don't drop it. Now, if you're going to advance your line about five feet above your head, you don't really have to take the quickie off. But I would say if you're going to throw it high, you want to take it off and just use your rope. So what you'll do is just throw it over the branch, right? You get your quickie that's already connected. You just open it up. My hands are fumbling a little here. You slide it back in, pop it. You're still connected, you're still tied in. Now you proceed up the line and you just continue that till you get to the main tie-in. So once you get to the top, what you would do is you, you lanyard in and you disconnect your quickie. Okay, this is a line that you're connected to 
I'm just going to put it in my pocket for now. You would open up your butterfly. And now you've got your device to you, your lanyard in. You would send this line all the way down to the ground until your, your end hits the ground. And then you want to give yourself a few extra feet. You give yourself a few extra feet. You retie a butterfly. Now you put your quickie back on. See, I want to do it up against the trunk here. So you clip it on. You want to make sure that pin's always going to be against the trunk. You snug up your line, right? If this was your final tie-in, this line would go all the way to the ground. So when you finish climbing the tree, when you get to the bottom, you could retrieve it with this. Anyhow, you could proceed up the tree. You don't have to throw the shot bag all the way to the top. You could start low and just use a foot ascender and make your way up. What was created next were these mechanical friction devices. And the one I have is a Rope Runner Pro. Um, there's another one called an Akimbo. And also there's a zigzag with a chicane. I'm not sure if there's um, other types, but basically they're the same thing as what a friction hitch would do. But they're all mechanical. So on the Rope Runner Pro, same concept. When you advance, this falls open, it lets you slide, and then when you put your weight on it, it locks everything into place. And the way you would descend is to push down on this. Now all of the other different mechanical um, friction devices, you know, they all have the same concept. Now I would say though with these it would be better to learn the basics first. I think starting with like a rope wrench or the hitch hiker would be better because you learn the different hitches and then um, graduate to something like the this you know or any of the mechanical friction hitches but these are actually they're really smooth running and they work great some downsides i hear about these is if they get gummed up by sap they become really sticky and hard to use but i'm th you know i'm sure cleaning can make them you know, run good again anyhow that's what you would have next so this is what you would need say if you're getting into the SRS system bare bones something like the rope wrench um, with a rope wrench you have the rope wrench tether friction hitch uh, doesn't have to be a hitch high, uh, hiker pulley it could be a micro pulley and a carabiner um, if you did the hitch hiker it would probably be the hitch hiker set up with a carabiner also um, you would want to either have like a chesty or there's another thing called a neck leash or you could even just use a lanyard over your shoulder connecting to your um, your system um, another thing you would need the bare minimum would be a foot ascender and having a locking foot ascender could save you a lot of grief once you put it on you're locking in place and the rope doesn't pop out on you and definitely you got to have a, a saddle <laughs> and a lanyard this is uh, and a rope. You want to have a rope that can withstand ascender teeth. I think that's pretty much what you need to get started. So this is basically everything you need to know about the SRS system to get you started. Um, I would say that in learning, it's best to learn um, an MRS system and friction hitches and all the knots that you need to know and advance to an SRS system. Great system to have. I think the SRS is good on your body. It helps you uh, work around the tree a little bit more easily because of all the redirects you can use and all of the different options. Definitely uh, an advancement in tree climbing. Something to look into. And as always, you want to make sure that if it's something new, do it low and slow. You never want to get hurt doing this type of stuff. So that's everything you need to know about SRS system. Um, in the link below, we're going to put uh, videos that we have our SRS and all the different types of stuff that you want to do with SRS. Um, you guys want to check it out. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Um, take care. We'll see you next time.